Howard Ash, uh, Senior Lecturer in Automotive Engineering within the School of Engineering and Technology. I'd like to welcome you to our Automotive Centre. And so in particular, we're going to visit our former student lab, where the students actually design and build uh, with their own single city formula car. So, without further ado. Uh, we supervise a, a wide variety of projects, and so, for example, we're, we're doing work in collaboration with small uh, vehicle manufacturers, uh, one in particular who do a uh, very small uh, two-seater sports car. So, yeah, we're, we're doing some work in collaboration with them to try and improve uh, their vehicles. Here is our former student car from last year. The students designed and built this vehicle over the course of one academic year. It was then competed with at Silverstone, okay, so this is the weekend after the British Grand Prix, and we actually had uh, 100 teams to compete against, never mind uh, you know, just uh, a dozen other Formula 1 teams. And uh, the students did really well. Uh, they placed fifth overall and were the uh, top UK team. The car will accommodate between the 5th and 95th percentile person, so that's basically anybody really small, really tall, they can all fit in. Everything you see is student design and built. So actually, uh, driving the car is pretty safe. Anybody driving the car has the full uh, safety gear on, so that's race suits, uh, fireproof underwear. The design and build actually takes place in one academic year, so the team is selected towards the end of September. And so manufacturing will actually start uh, over the Christmas period, so typically the chassis will be uh, manufactured over that time frame. We're also looking at fuel economy as well, which is very important obviously these days. So uh, yeah, no, they have uh, quite a, a tough order, quite a tough task there. It, it's great trying to be able to uh, impart your knowledge and obviously make them appreciate the reasons why you know things are the way that they are and explain the physics behind the way that the cars go and so the students are actually able to then go and take some of that theory and actually put it into practice and improve their own vehicles. The great thing is actually that uh, because of the role I'm in as such, uh, I'm able to uh, have good links with uh, you know, uh, some of our graduates in industry and other people that have been in industry through work experience. And so to that end, we're able to bring all of that into uh, the classroom, if you like. And so students get to uh, see and understand you know, the reason why we teach them you know, the theoretical side, how it's actually applied in the, in the practical world as such. Uh, but also it helps to uh, provide finally projects so students can really get something to uh, sink their teeth into. You will always need engineers. Uh, the very seat that you sit on, you know, that was designed by an engineer. And so the theory can be applied to anything. Obviously uh, the challenges that uh, we face at the moment, obviously uh, environmental, and so it's really our job to try and find those solutions out there. And so to that end, there will always be a need for engineers.